Boomskang, yo, it's me again, Rain, the mama, 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 mask. Um, what did I want to show you? Oh, yeah, boom. So what these are, are the Air Max 1s, or they're just Air Max 1s. But they're not just Air Max 1s. This is a future classic. This is one where in maybe four to five years' time, you're going to be paying £250 for. So this is the Air Max 1. Uh, okay. Let me get into my French accents. Pompidou. 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 Anyway, the Air Max 1 Pompidou. So it's a, a, the Pompidou Centre, or Centre Pompidou, is a, a, a place in Paris. I've never been there. I think I've seen pictures. Basically, I, I believe that Tinker Hatfield, I say believe, I think this is the story. Tinker Hatfield visit, visited the Pompidou Centre, Pompidou Centre, um, and was transfixed by some of the outlandish design when i say outlandish design i mean like the big steps and the colors and whatever it may be um and that in essence gave birth to the see-through air unit it's probably more to the story that i'm missing but uh, whatever but anyway the actual center has a lot of um primary colors which stand out well, forget primary colours, just have a lot of colours which are in the design. Hence why you've got the red, the yellow, the green, the bleu. See, can you hear my French? The bleu. <laughs> yeah, I did do French at school. But anyway, let's get into this. Now, this should have been labelled a PRM, but it's not labelled a PRM. PRM meaning premium. All my regular listeners should not... Regular listeners? I'm not on radio. Regular subscribers should know that. Now, the reason being is that, firstly, let's start at the toe box. Now, let's just focus in. So, you've got tumbled leather. It's not heavily tumbled, and, and I always refer back to the thing of shattered backboard Jordan leather. It's not tumbled like that, but it's enough to, to make a difference and to say, yes, yeah, a PRM material. Then you've got this red, and it, it, is, it is paint, and it would have been nice if it was actually engraved into the actual um, trainer, a bit like the green. So if I'm going to zoom, I'm going to zoom in on the green. Come on. So you can just, you probably can't make out, but it is actually engraved into the material. This is almost drawn or printed on. It's probably printed, not drawn, but it would have been good if that was um, engraved into the material. It would have just given a bit more premium feel. Um, then you move up to the train or move along the trainer. Then you've got a dense kind of suede, which is on the upper, which filters round to the um, Nike swoosh in blue. Uh, then you've got the yellow at the back or the yellow, um, let's call them tram lines, let's call them tram lines or design lines. At the back, again, reference to the Pompidou Center in Paris, Gé Paris. But then, the leather on the top back quartile or top back upper quartile is just insane. They should have made that leather on the whole trainer. It is not the same as the front, I don't believe. Maybe it is, but anyway, I don't think it is. The creasing is different and all that kind of stuff, but it just makes it just, it makes it just seem even wassier than they are. Wassy, what does wassy mean? Um, yeah, anyway, you can Google that. Back of the trainer, let me give you the HD close up. Boom skeng. So Nike in white or Nike Air in white amongst the gray dense suede. Then you've got the yellow, yeah, and then you've got the red at the bottom. Flicking round, just the blue swoosh. Um, and then just a normal Air Max 1 silhouette. Um, sorry that it was blurred, but you know how it do. You know how we do. Um, but what I want to show you is two things. The air unit. Air unit is standout red. Mad. It just pops. Popperton, as someone said. No, not, pop, not someone. As um, the chicken connoisseur would say, Popperton. Well, maybe he wouldn't say, he wouldn't say Popperton. He might say Poppage. Anyway, whatever. Anyway. The pièce de résistance, see French again, is the sole. So, um, the different colours are what are at the on the Pompidou centre, Pompidou centre, sorry, um, and then you've got the P for the actual Pompidou. Like you got to think, 
if and it's so annoying the trainer game is so fickle so these are sat on shelves still you can walk into an offspring you can walk into a nike town maybe a nike lab definitely and you can pick these up you know what if that p stood for para or pata where, where would they be on StockX reselling for 250 now that really grinds my gears and you actually I'm not even, actually should i do a rant video Nah, it might be too comedic. Hmm. Okay. No, nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But anyway, so this is them. So this is the Air Max 1 Pompidou. I think that it is a future classic. Yes, I know the shape of the toe box isn't what it was on the, on, on some of the, um, the, the, um, what are they called? Ah, not the premiums. They called them, shoot. There was a range of, of Air Max ones that came out and they changed the toe box and made it more OG like I can't remember what it was called but anyway yeah it's a bit blocky but when you put your foot in there it's what it is you know what I mean or you can do the iron thing and make it even more streamlined if you wanted to but I think that these are heavy they're going to be a future classic did you manage to get them they are still sitting in sh on shelves and because I say they're a future classic it doesn't mean that well it does it, people are going to be reselling them in three four years time I guarantee you I guarantee you. But anyway, what are your thoughts? The Air Max One, Pompidou, Pompidou, Pompidou. What are your thoughts? Did you grab a pair? Did you not? Do you not like them? Did you prefer the grey pair? Actually, uh, I've got the grey pair somewhere. I'm going to review the grey pair as well. Let me, let me just try and dig them out. But anyway, it's Rain the Mask on Rabbit and On, signing O U T out. See ya! <laughs>